Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. This is Atlanta and Company. I am Christine Pilara. So happy to be with you. Um, I have to say, you know, I've been working from the house now since mid-May. So what is that? We're over four months. And for the first time, we're very lucky um, that it hasn't happened. But our Wi-Fi, I don't know if it was all the storms last week, but zip, zap, something is not right. So uh, we have been Wi-Fi-less, and it's put a little bit of stress on our family. Uh, but we're all making it through. We're all managing. Um, so here's just to the, the challenges of working from home. And you know what? We got to give ourselves grace, and we have to work through it. Somebody who does that just beautifully every day with her large, large family of three children, including little baby Liza as the one and only Kara <laughs> Kinnear. It's called Grace Kara. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing's been working. It's just hello. I love deep I am, breath. Con I am continuously working through it. Yes, let's all take a collective deep breath, shall we? I think we need to each and every day. Lots <sighs> of deep breaths. In fact, I think yesterday I sent a few texts to friends just saying deep breaths, deep breaths, because that's all we can do. All right. But yeah. what else we can do is share some that's good news about some good people doing great things in the world. And that's what I'm here for. So let's yes. get started with the teacher. We love to highlight teachers. So many awesome teachers that we know and love. And some of them are going above and beyond. And Kathy Cluck is no different. So check out what Mrs. Cluck is doing. So Ms. Cluck is a teacher in Texas. And she thought, you know what? When am I going to have this opportunity again? She teaches US history and European history. AP U.S. history, and she said, I'm going to take my kids no. virtually to the places where these things happen. So she has since been 3,000 yes. miles cross country. She has went to Washington, D.C. She's went to Jamestown, Virginia. She's went to all the places in her lesson plan, except for Boston, because they had a quarantine rule. She couldn't get up there. But a lot of places she's been going and teaching <laughs> on those sites. So she said she just bought a hotspot. She tried to rent an RV. She couldn't quite get an RV because they were all sold out. Uh, but she's just been taking her SUV around and teaching from her SUV. She said she's um, taught from old war battlegrounds. She's taught from rest stops. And she's having a yes. blast doing it. She said, you know, um, I'm not sure my kids, the kids in my class think it's as cool as I do, but I think it's pretty cool. And Miss Cluck, you're awesome. She's a 27 year teaching veteran and just doing the most for our kids to learn. What a cool idea and then to actually execute it and bring the children along with you. Very neat. Yes. Oh, Kara, I would love that. You know, I know you're going to find this hard to believe. I was in AP history myself because I loved American history. At some point, I even thought I wanted to teach history. Kara, I would have never gotten to know you if that was the case, but it took a little turn, took a little turn. But I love that she did that. And I mean, what a difference. It's so hard for, um, for us all to stay engaged. Um, we try so hard when we're doing all these Zoom meetings and everything else. So she really brought uh, the experience to life. I love that. Yes. So cool. Yeah, I'm glad I'm it's, with you, Kara. it's I'm pretty glad, remarkable. I'm glad I to go TV. Just teachers in general and then, no. All right, I'm going to start to call you Mrs. Yes. Polara. Ooh, teacher vibe. I like it. All right, um, yes. let's get to this next story. Right. This story is about a farming family in South Dakota, and it starts out a little tragic. So Lane Unjum was um, tilling and harvesting his crops one morning, and his harvester caught on fire. He went into cardiac arrest. He was airlifted to the hospital. Oh, he is still there, but in stable condition. He's doing well. He should be home soon. Um, we'll keep you updated on that, but he's doing well. And um, But in lieu of that, the neighborhood, the farming community in this town rallied around the Unjums. They said, really, this is truly a story of you reap what you sow. So check this out. 40 to 50 farmers came to his aid to harvest his crops. He oh. has a thousand acre farm, which is a pretty large farm. Thousand acre farm. Um, they were hauling, they were ra running their semi trucks. They were, you know, um, I'm, I'm from a farming family. So I'm actually like picturing this in my mind right now of them like, going to the grain bins and, and um, doing all the really hard work that needs to be done. Check this out. They did all 1,000 acres in seven hours. All those farmers finished his land for him. Whoa. So uh, just a really cool story about a neighborhood uh, coming together, a farming community that is there for each other, and um, they got it done. They sure did. 
Yeah. Kara, I thought you were going to say something like seven days, seven hours. I mean, that is pretty incredible. <laughs> they were no. determined to help out and, and come <laughs> together. That's awesome. Really, it really is. It's something else. So, Just there are good, good people in the world, it, and we're all helping so, each other. So I love that. I do too. I do too. And I love you. Thank you for always helping me get through the days, the good ones and the not so good ones. And guys, if you have an it's all good story for Kara, please send it to us. It's facebook.com slash ATL and co or tweet us using that hashtag. It's all good.